All right, I'm just uh, starting my armature for this uh, latest clay of mine. And uh, I really, you know, don't, don't really know yet what I'm going to do, which is normal. Time to play with some clay. Um, I'm thinking about doing a, a Native American, uh, war party scout. Uh, they would be sent, there'd be two of them sent out, and they'd be the youngest, uh, young warriors, uh, with good eyesight and, uh, the ability to see things and absorb what they see and be able to report back on it. And, uh, this is going to be one of them. And, uh, they would often wear a animal skin to, um, put over their head and down their back and just to imbue the, uh, creature's spirit in them. And a lot of times it would be a wolf skin, sometimes a coyote skin. Uh, depending on, I guess, the warrior or the traditions of the tribe. Anyway, I'll be right back. So anyway, I'll uh, be back in a little while. Uh, I won't show everything I'm doing right at the beginning because I cover a lot of this in uh, several instructional videos that I have that you can purchase online. Uh, they're streaming on uh vimo vimo i'm not i never know how to say that correctly but it's it's where you can watch the video um uh, fully on uh, vimo streaming uh so that you can watch it on your cell phone or on your computer in your studio or at your kitchen table whichever works out best for you but anyway, I just uh, need to get busy here and uh, make this armature and start adding clay. I'm giving him full arms for now. I don't know if that'll last. I may not, but I'm giving myself the option to have full arms. And uh, right now I'm doing the hand armature out of a thin wire <sighs> next week I may not be here for a day or so I've got to uh, go to the foundry in Livingston uh, I'll take the opportunity while I'm there to get a bid on uh, my uh, prairie girl standing in the wind and see how much it'll cost to cast that piece you can't set a price on a bronze until you uh, at least know what it's going to cost to produce it all right be right back one way i keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos. and. Uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there um i pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh i'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or 
even all of my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that, and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. Okay, I'm going to start putting clay on this thing. And, uh, I don't know. I, you know, just, I'm just playing with the idea right now. It's an idea I had in my mind a couple of days ago, and it's, uh, one that I've been thinking about. And, uh, I think it's going to look good if I just don't screw it up. There's always that possibility. All right, I'll be back in a little while. All right, I've got, uh, the body started. Like I said, I'm not certain exactly what I'm going to do yet. All the sketching that I did, all the research I did this week. And then last week, I still am leaning towards what I'm going to do, but I'm thinking about having him having a animal skin on his mounted on his head as a headdress and coming down his back and maybe have the skin coming up and over his arm in kind of a drapery type thing I don't know I'm just trying to work it out in my mind as I'm working on it and it looks like I'm going to have to soften up some clay because uh, the clay pot's getting kind of low. I'm thinking of having his body twisted and uh, he's looking on. I don't like straight on pieces. I like to have some kind of fluid movement to the figure. And uh, so I just, well, I'll just continue putting clay on for a few minutes. I hate quitting, but if I don't, I won't eat tonight and it'll be midnight before I got my video out. I got down here and I, I literally forgot my proportions. <laughs> I just, I just uh, was blank. He looks a little top heavy with the head, but that's only because I haven't really widened his uh, chest cavity yet. And uh, he's looking a little skinny. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's going to have to do it for today. I'll come back tomorrow and work a little bit more on this anatomy and get it, get, get it to a point where it looks like a human being instead of an alien. And uh, I got to get some clay up here in my pot. All right. Yeah, I like the way it's starting. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.